to the show, but I like to, the, the Jennifer Hudson show it is, but I gave it another name. So welcome to the happy play. You better give me a card, Charles. <laughs> Let me add my little two, since I always say do 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 that's the joy in the happy place, okay? I had to sing it to y'all. And since we're on the track, he already struck a chord. Can y'all say hello to my good friend and nobody else's, Aww. Mr. Charles <laughs> Jones over there. <laughs> Listen, I gotta, I, I know, you know I'm gonna have a Charles moment for two seconds, oh my cause it's my show. <laughs> One day, I'm gonna have to have this man sing y'all a song along with being over there on that piano. Oh. Yeah. Do not be fooled. <laughs> he can sing and play, play and sing. It's like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> oh my God, but until then, Charles is here to just to be my, look at this now. <laughs> okay, so today's mug says, life is made of happy moments, which is so befitting. Look at my mug. Today's mug is from Janet Lancha from Mesquite, Texas. She sent this to me. Do, thank you, Janet. This is so beautiful. This note, oh, let, no, hold on, let me take my sip. Cause I be getting thirsty, y'all, hold on. <laughs> <sighs> one more. You ain't want none, did you? <laughs> you ain't want none, <laughs> okay. Listen, I also love the note that she wrote. Can I read it to y'all? Okay, here we go. Dear Jen, I collect mugs too, and this one is a favorite out of my collection. Whenever I give a gift to my family and friends, it's either a journal or a mug. So that's why I gave one of my favorite mugs to one of my favorite people. Thank you. That is so sweet. Okay, I'm, uh, uh, thank you. Let's see, give this one a special shout out. So thank you for the mug, Miss Janet. And so y'all hit us up on our socials or go to the JenniferHudsonShow.com. If you want to send your mugs, your mug shots, your happy moments, happy places, please send it on because I love to hear about it all as well. So thank you for that. Y'all gonna do that for me? Yeah. All right, let's get this show started. I am so excited for today's show because we have the one and only seal on the show today. Yeah. His hit song, Kiss from a Rose, was number one on Billboard charts back in 1995. Now, that was just a few months before the song uh, by TLC, Don't Go Chasing Waterfall. <laughs> see, listen, back in, let me see now here, if I can't remember how old I am now. <laughs> back in 95, so my son is 13 now. So I was about the same age. That's me, right there. So when I look at my baby, that's all I see is little bitty Jennifer, right? Don't they look just like little David? Okay, so my point is, <laughs> back in 1995, I was like 13 years old. You know what? And something else is gonna blow your mind, a gallon of gas. A gallon of gas. <laughs> Y'all, this feel way long ago for us. What? In 1995, these young folks probably real confused. Was a dollar and nine cents. <laughs> Does anybody remember that? Or was it that long ago? And a dozen of eggs. <laughs> yeah, I said a dozen of eggs. Everything that went up along with our ages, huh? <laughs> I think this is so fun. A dozen of eggs was 87 cents. <laughs> Listen, it was also the year that teen comedy Clueless came out back in 1995 as well. <laughs> yes. And another thing, we were still making phone calls on these old throwback phones. Hold on, let me get it for you. Hold on, where my phone at? Oh, hold the line. Hello. <laughs> ah! Oh my God, did that not take you back? 
And then my grandmama had the rotary phone. She used to sit over her hee-ho with her blanket and then watch her good old TV show. And she said, come on in here and dial this number for me now. <laughs> and then she started spelling out alphabets. And I'm like, Grandma, what, what number is that? <laughs> L. <laughs> I. <laughs> H. And then she throws some numbers. And I'm like, nah, who we calling? <laughs> Did that not take your back? Oh my God, okay. See, it's always fun to remember this, but no time is like the present. Hold on, I gotta call, hello? <laughs> you come to the gym for us to show. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm not crazy, y'all, but this took me back. Remember, I was only like 13 years old, so I wasn't old enough to have no cell phone. And the phones that I remember back then did not look like this. Juju, do you see this? Okay. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to wait any longer to bring out our first guest. He's a Grammy winner and a music icon. His songs have been streamed over one billion times. Give it up for the one and only Sia! Now, happy belated 60th birthday. Yeah, can you believe it? Oh. oh. I remember when I never even used to talk to people at over 40. Oh, really? Yeah. And they, you had a big old surprise birthday party. I did, I did. My, my partner uh, held a, a surprise. Ooh, there ooh, it what? is. Oh, there it is, yeah. <laughs> you look real in shock. We love you, Phil. Yeah. Aww. Oh. You look like you got emotional. What yeah. were you thinking in that moment? Well, she did, she did such a good job of keeping it away from me, keeping the whole thing a surprise that I didn't suspect anything at all. I thought we were gonna go and pick up uh, my, my stepdaughter mm -hmm. and we were gonna go and meet the rest of the, I was gonna say kids, but they're no longer kids, but the rest of my, uh, my sons and daughters at a restaurant. So, uh, I mean, how she managed to keep it uh, a secret for me for so long, I. I I just don't know. Uh, anyway, we went round to a friend's house, mm -hmm. and as they opened the door, there were almost 200 of just everyone that has meant something at some point or other in my life, you know, uh, and a real cross section of people. And I just had this thought. I, I was like, oh, I know what's happened. I've died. And I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I literally, for, for about for a split second, <laughs> I literally thought, oh, this is what they talk about. You, you know, you die and then you see all the people that are... <laughs> like your whole life flashed yeah. before your eyes. Yeah, yeah. and, and, and uh, luckily, uh, you know, I'm still alive. And, uh, and so, uh, <laughs> but, then, but then I just... <laughs> I, I just, I just, I just lost it. You know, I, I, yeah, you saw me kind of... Uh, bursting out into tears there. I, I just couldn't hold back the tears because, you know, we're all so good at deflecting compliments and deflecting love when it's thrown out. Where, you know, oh, you know what, well, no, it's, it's nothing really. You know, we're all so good at that. But then when you see roughly 200 of the people that are really meaningful in your life, people that you've met, that you know very well, you've known for a long time, and some that you've met in passing, but that have had an effect on you. Mm -hmm. When you see them all there, it's like this, this undeniable uh, wall of love that you cut, and then you ask yourself the question, well, why are they all here? There's only one answer why they're here, and it's because they care. Right. You know, and uh, when you first, uh, when you accept that, it's, uh, it's, it's really overwhelming, you know? There's nowhere to hide. You can't deflect the love then. You really have to go, yeah, well, maybe they, maybe, you know, they do love me. Yes, you had to embrace it because it's your birthday. I like your nails. Do you like my Sorry, nails? Sorry, I just, they're, they're beautiful. Check them out, Seal. <laughs> <They're> amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And your kids are getting older. Your oldest is going to college or is yeah, it Yeah, she's college? 19. Oh, really? It seems like I was changing her diapers and now she's in, now she's in college. It goes so fast, because I have a 13-year-old right. son, yeah. and it's already flying by, mm. so next is like college, huh? 
Yeah, but you know, it, it gets better because they kind of, you know, they'll always, he'll always be your son. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, they get to an age where they're like, it's like having another adult. In fact, it is like having another adult. And they're kind of like your friends as well. So you can talk about stuff to some degree. Oh. <laughs> to some degree. Y'all caught that? Okay. Will you stick around for a little uh, bit? Absolutely. Oh, we're so happy to have you. We'll be right back. More with Seal. And we're back with the one and only Seal. Okay, now you would compliment me on my nails, but I see you have some nice nails over here too. Can I see your nails? That's nice. Thank you. What, like, you like a mat, you say? Well, I mean, there's only certain colors that, you know, a guy can get away with. But so whenever it gets too bright, I, I tend to go matte because then that, that, that balances it out. But I love this gray. I think it's called shadow, this color. So I left this glass. Nice. Now, the person who did them, she'd be happy. She, she doesn't like doing that. No? Well, no, really? because she, she says, oh, I do this great job to get them so perfect, and then you go and make them mad. Mm. So I, I... I think Matt is good, so I I'm with so you too. all I'm, I'm with you. Long. Now, see, I think you fly. Do your kids think they have a cool dad? No. <laughs> no? No. I mean, I, I guess they do sometimes. They, they, if, the, if they do, they, they're really good at hiding it. You know, so they're, they're, like, they're not easy. They, they, they don't give it up that easy with me. But um, like every now and then, they'll do something like, they'll send me a picture of uh, you know, my song coming on, in, on the radio in the car. And that's, I guess that's their way of letting me know that they, know what's they, going they on. think I'm cool. Uh, I understand that. Mm -hmm. And you're getting ready to go on tour. Can you tell yes. everyone what's going on? What you're doing with that? It's... <laughs> it's a... Uh... It's, it's a US tour that starts in Phoenix, I think. Mm. Uh, and it's to kind of, to, to, uh, it's a celebration of my music over the last 30 years, but specifically focused on the first two albums, mm. you know. Mm. And uh, I'm, I'm quite excited, uh, perhaps more so than usual uh, with this tour, because the person that is, largely responsible for my sound. I mean, you being you know, a, a great singer, you'll understand that a producer is everything. Yes. And so uh, the, uh, the person that is largely responsible, uh, in part for what people perceive as, as my sound, my producer, Trevor Horn, mm -hmm. he's actually MDing. I got him to... Really? Yeah, so it's kind of recreating that, that studio sound. You know, all those people that are familiar with those first two records. Um, I always feel like albums are like, they're like soundtracks to a certain chapter in your yes. life, you know, That's or they used to be. True. And so, and so what we're trying to do is we're, we're trying to stay true to the integrity of those recordings, mm -hmm. which I'm extremely proud of because he's a great producer. So we're, we're trying to stay true to that integrity of the original album and give the person who comes to the show, that experience of trying to take them back when they first heard that record. That's so, amazing. So that's... I'm going to adopt that idea. I love that. Now tell me, what's one of the craziest things that you recall happening during a performance before in the show? During a performance? Oh, God, there have been a few, a few crazy things. Um, well, actually, uh, I don't know how crazy it was, but we were just playing in in the Middle East. And, uh, and we were warned before going there, you know, they have all of these things, oh, don't do this, don't touch, don't uh, uh, you know, be very respectful, don't show the soles of your feet. And there, were all, there was this whole checklist yep. of things that we, we shouldn't do. So there was, you know, there was some trepidation uh, going there. But um, at the actual show, we were performing this place called Alula. Mm -hmm. uh, this, this one of the native uh, uh, Arabian uh, gentlemen in full regalia, like full, full, you know, white, uh, I'm, I'm not sure what the native costume is, and the, the, the headdress, he literally leapt out of his seat, ran up to me and put his arms around me and, and just kept on, he just wouldn't let go, you know, and I guess so, so much for the kind of no touching and no hugging. Um, but, <laughs> But, you know, it just goes to show, you know, you, if you lean in with, with love, yeah. if, you, if you come with love, 
It's, it's undeniable. Love always wins, always. That is true. Mm. All right, hold the line. We're gonna play a game with Sil after this. We'll be right back. So I know for me, when I started out singing, I was singing any and everywhere. Where are some places that you started singing at? Oh, um, you used to work at a hamburger place. Burger King. A Burger King, <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, me too. I, I worked at McDonald's. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. Mm. See, I used to sing when the cars would come through. That was my microphone. I said, this is yeah. my opportunity. Did you sing when you were at Yeah, I, 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 well, I was only there for about two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. <laughs> Well, are, because that was how long you needed to work before. That was the shortest amount of time you could work before you got paid. <laughs> so I got paid and I was out. But, um, but yeah, I used, to, I used to sit, I was cleaning the bathrooms and I, I, I you know, there's good acoustics. Ba I was going to say, That's bathroom got good acoustics. Thing. Yes, great acoustics. So I remember singing there and, and uh, there was this place uh, where I used to live in London um, about a mile up the road called Westbourne Grove and it had this huge archway. Mm. And I would go and... It had great acoustics, great reverb, and so I would go there at about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning when no one was there, and I'd just stand and sing. That sounds romantic, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, my God, and amazing. So you have some romantic songs. A lot, a lot of babies had to be born to your music. Ooh. Do people tell you that a lot? They do. They, they share <laughs> a bit, bit more information than <laughs> perhaps they should do sometimes, but, hey, listen, if anywhere I can be of service is, is my... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I bet you you can make like anything sound like oh, a love song. That. You don't know about that? I, I don't know about that. I think we should try to see. Yeah. See, because so, listen, Phil. So I got a few topics, and then we got Charles over there on the keys. So I, I came up with the idea that you know I give you a few topics and you can see if you can make it sound romantic, uh -oh. like a a, a a love song, calling it from Seal with love. What y'all think about that? You think you can handle that? Oh, I like the picture and the <laughs> graphics. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. You ready to try? All right. Since you worked at McDonald's, Cardi B and Offset has a meal. They have a meal at McDonald's. The Cardi B meal. Cardi B and Offset meal. Okay. Yeah, you, you gonna give us a try? I have, to have a seal meal. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> the Cardi B. Offset meal at McDonald's. <laughs> One cheeseburger with some barbecue sauce. A large coke. Oh my God! A quarter pounder. And orange lover too. <laughs> Large and fries, hot flaky pies. <laughs> that was so good! <laughs> oh my god! You make me want some McDonald's. Oh. <laughs> Will you come back again to see us? <laughs> Please. <laughs> that was awesome. Y'all get him a head. <laughs> to find out how you can get tickets. Still is going to perform a little later in the show. We'll be right back. All right, let's have a little fun. I want to test my audience's memory with a little game called Do You Remember? <laughs> hey! Uh, <laughs> this game, in this game, you flip over two cards. If they match, you win. You win at price. That sounds good, everybody? Yeah. All right, let's see who our first contestant is. Yeah. Come on, Dad! Madison! Yeah. Hi, Madison! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I love your ears. Thank you. It's Thank so you. amazing. Okay. Now, Madison, Madison, this is your Burger King microphone. Ooh. You see that? And this is my... <laughs> Can you tell us where you're from? I am from San Luis Obispo. All right. I love that. Now, tell me a little something about yourself. I grew up on a cattle ranch, so growing cows and chickens and really? goats and goats? all that stuff. We just got goats, so 
Just screw the herd. <laughs> oh, I love a goat. Okay. All right. <laughs> can, you, can you choose? <laughs> I do. I love a goat, y'all. Okay, can you choose two cards for me? Can I do number four? Number four. Yes. And then, let's see what else we Number got. 12. Oh! oh, okay, okay. Okay, Madison, I want you to try again. Okay. Because oh, you got that's goats. Right, that's right, yes. You got goats. I got goats to feed. You see that? <laughs> All right, now give it another try, but remember the good stuff, okay? 15. I love okay. a cozy blanket too, Madison. That is, yes, that is very nice. You got another like one for me? Like a cozy blanket. Seven. Oh, oh. oh. You see that? <laughs> okay. Oh, since this is the happy place. Yes. And you got some goats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, got some goats. I want you to try again. Okay. Seven and twelve. Oh. Yes! Oh. We're feeding them goats, girl. Okay. You're getting three hundred dollars. Oh. Give them a hand. Oh, oh, oh. Congratulations, yeah. Madison. I love your energy. Thank you. Tell so the goats much. I said hi, okay? Oh. And the rest of the cap. Yes. All right. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Come on. Let's see. I want to see who my next lucky player is. Hi! Who we got? Is this Justin? Hi, I just wanted to say hi to you, Justin. Hello. I'm, I'm, I'm You're going to cry? Oh, my God. You've never done this before? No. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. So tell me where you're from. I just moved here uh, to San Diego, actually, oh, from really? North Carolina. Nice. You like it so far? I love it. You love it? I would have never done this. Oh, see? You I nice? called out of work an hour ago. Oh my God, he called out of work. Sorry, I love I... you. I love you. I... I need you to pick two cards. Okay. Um, I'll do number two for my best friend's birthday. Number two? <laughs> number two. Oh, oh, you on the road already. <laughs> okay, not a TV. TCL okay. TV. Okay. Let's do 17 for no reason. Oh, lip gloss. Lip gloss? That's a lip gloss. My sister of Nibi. Okay, okay, okay. I, I need you to try again, though. We'll do three. How about three? It's three good. A jar of pickles. Oh my God, I love pickles. Wait, I love pickles. I love you. <laughs> okay, okay, come Don't on. That to me. Okay, pick another, pick another. Number. 14. Oh, come my God. on. Now, now I'm testing that man of yours. Wait, I got it. And all that sex. And all that sex. Okay, I need you to go again. It's gonna be two and 14. Two and 14. Two and 14. Look at that. Look at that. I'm kidding you, kids. You get a 65 inch CCL. TV. Congratulations. Thank you. You so are much. adorable. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I love, love your energy. Give him a hand. Oh, that's a sassy one right there. Woo child. All right. Look at him get his best life. I love you so much. Okay, <laughs> let's get one more player down here. Anybody else gonna play with me? Come on down, Ida! Ida! Give me a hug, Ida! I'm so glad to be here. I love your energy! Thank you, so glad to be here. Didn't I tell you y'all had the best energy? I love it, love it, love it, Jennifer. Love it. The life y'all give me. Okay, can you tell us where you're from? I am from Fontucky, California, Fontana. Okay, okay. Can you tell me a little something interesting about yourself? Well, I'm a mail carrier for 30 years. Oh. Well, do you have a good memory? Okay. We gonna find out. We gonna see. Okay, let's test it, all right? Hey. Can you pick two numbers for me? Yeah, two cards. Cool, Fifteen. Fifteen. All right. What else you got? Eleven. Eleven. I'm just saying, that's looking real good. Listen, you better, you better give I need me a that 500. Step. I need the 500 She, she right says there. she needs the 500. Okay, you know what, then I feel like this, this is the house of plentifulness, okay. so I feel like you should get another shot at it. Pick, pick two more cards. Eight. Eight. And 11. Look at that! 11! Yeah! You did it, 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 girl! Give her her $500 circle cake! Give her a hand! I love y'all, and congratulations to our fabulous players. 
We'll be right back. Welcome back. Our next guest has gone viral after this video of him pin tapping got millions of views. Y'all take a look. Wow. Please welcome Lenny Simo. Tell everyone, like, how did you get started with the pin tapping? So this all started back in um, sixth grade. It was a popular thing that everybody was doing back in the day. And the people around me who did it um, actually inspired me to start doing it. And um, I used to think it was really annoying at first until I discovered that I could do it too. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so I remember the first moment I first learned, um, I was sitting in science class. Like, they were reading, uh, the teacher was reading us a book. And then um, I, I started, like, tapping on, like, slowly on, on, top of the, on top of the book. And then right there, I noticed. So I went home that day, um, showed my mom, and then she saw the potential in me. So ever since I started, I, I've been stuck with it. You're yeah. awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> OK. So like, how did you get introduced to that style? Or what do you attribute the style to? Um, so people back in the day, they always used to do the, like, the same rhythm and stuff, just like basic rhythms. But um, I first started out with basic rhythm, rhythms. Then I started, like, um, it's, getting, it's been getting like, more complex like, over the time. So um, I, I discover a lot of sounds, like the, like the sound you guys saw in the video. That's everybody's favorite sound. The raindrops, like, <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> so yeah, over, over the years I've been doing it, like, you know, I started off simple. I, I just kept, like, evolving. I just kept discovering, like, new sounds along the way. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Yeah. <laughs> how, how long did it take you over time to, like, perfect it all? And which did you start with, the rhythms or, the, like, the math sound? I, I first started out with just the pen. And then I, I started, um, I discovered the, the raindrop noise. My friend taught me it. Raindrop noise, that's that, what that was called? Oh. The raindrop noise, yes. And then after I learned the raindrop, that's when I discovered that I could do like the popping noise, like all that stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so tell me about your video that went viral. How did that happen? So this was recorded at a tax firm. I was just like doing like my... A uh, tax room? Uh, tax firm, yeah, like tax doing firm. my taxes, yes. So... <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> yeah, it happened really randomly, so... Um, <laughs> Uh, I know the owner, he's, um, I've been going to him for a couple years now, so when I first went there, you know, I started performing and stuff, and like, I kept like, performing over the years. So this time, it just happened to be different, because um, there are like, a lot of customers waiting in line. So he was like, oh, why don't you, why don't you like, entertain the customers like, while they wait? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> then I posted it on TikTok, you know, in viral there. Then like, I woke up the next day, like, Will Smith reposted it. I was going crazy, quest love, so. A lot of people have been reposting it, so it's just been like a crazy week. Oh my goodness. Yeah. How did that make you feel when you saw like, you know, like all these heavy hitters like reposting it, your stuff. It felt amazing. Um, especially Will Smith, like it caught me off guard. <laughs> and since we have you here, can we take it back to like middle school over, you know? Oh yeah, and you, of course. You me, show me, us show how you. you do what you do. Of course, of Y'all want to see, right? <laughs> <laughs> Is this my seat? I'm here in class. <laughs> you did this in school too. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Wish I was your teacher. I'm your student <laughs> now. I want to learn. Okay. I, I used to stop lessons in class just to perform. Um, just to perform. Yeah? So, what did yeah. your teacher say? Um, they are really annoyed better by first, like really annoyed, but um, <laughs> as, I, as I kept getting better, you know, they started like supporting me and stuff, so. Love that, and yeah. now you're here, look at them, teacher. Okay, <laughs> Can, you ready to show us something? Oh yeah, of course. Okay, we, we paying attention. All right. I can't, I can't have you here, you're not. Can you show me a little something? Oh, yeah, of course. I want to do it, too. So I'm, I'm going to show you the basics. So, like, you have to grab the pen, um, like, right at the end, just like this. So you have to hold it, like, in this position, like this, right? And then to let it go, you have to use your middle finger, the ring finger, and the pinky, so. And you have to pick it up just like that. Uh oh Yeah, when I first started, that's the part I most struggled with, just, like, letting it go. So, like, just hold it like this, right? Uh-huh. Like that. 
you have to like pick it up though, with your middle finger, the ring finger, and the pinky. Or I can show, show you another way to do it too. So you can use like uh, this, like the your left hand, right? You can go like. I think I could do it. Hey, let's go. Yeah. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. Okay. Just like that. Wait. <laughs> Hold on. Uh oh. Lenny ain't doing nothing, son. <laughs> but I got these nails. <laughs> <laughs> Did that do anything? Oh, it has like a unique sound, yeah? Okay, <laughs> we'll work on it. Thank you so much for being here. Of course, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> that was awesome. I know you're gonna kill the game. I can't wait. Appreciate it. I'm gonna buy you. every record. We'll be right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.